Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Question? Do we have, we have anything related to, to Ashura? InshaAllah, InshaAllah. Um, as Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh, how do we express our gratitude and love towards Imam Hussain on this day of Ashura and how to teach our kids about it and how should we distinguish, distinguish ourselves? Uh, that we just talk. That was the whole. Talk, that was the whole talk. <laughs> that the the talk was all about that, and and the kids can listen to this. This is in simple English. It's not complicated Islamic terms, and it's the appropriate version to teach. That this is about good character, because the kids asked, and they said that you, you you've talked about every nation is a salvation. Why when it comes to the Ahlul Bayt we're sitting and now having to cry for Imam al Hussein what happened? So that has to be very clear that this is the greatest salvation and that salvation is called self-sacrifice. This world doesn't know that anymore. You know, you, you think that if, if you, you got a good job and you got lots of money Allah loves you and that's not true. Maybe you're just a better crook, that has nothing to do with that. It has to do with self-sacrifice is that you sacrifice yourself and your time and your ability for what you believe in. And the masters of this reality, they led that example of sacrificing themselves. And that was the greatest intercession, that was the greatest gift for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad knowing that people won't succeed. And people won't reach what they're supposed to reach. And when you talk and teach people how high is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad then how sad is that that the nation of the most highest Prophet can't get anywhere. So Allah is not going to leave it like that. So He's keeping this whole thing stacked in our favour. You do something wrong it's one, you do something good it's ten, okay now I can move you back up. You, you pray this prayer, you make this istighfar, you make all this uh, salah, all these gifts Allah is giving to the nation to keep raising us and dressing us and blessing us. You fast this day is 50 years of forgiveness, you fast this one day as if one year of fasting. Everything Allah is doing is to show that I want to raise you. So then they come into our life and teach and say, watch the video that Shaykh made is that we have to live a life of sacrifice. So you teach your kids when they're small that, you know, let's go shopping and then take the kids into the aisles and say, let's buy some socks. And then when you're sitting with them, talk and teach them, they're your nation. So when I'm teaching to you, you're supposed to take this and teach to your children. You take your kids down to Walmart and say, let's go buy some socks today. Because your intention is already something else. And they say, okay dad let's go buy socks, what's the big deal? Say, no I want you to come and we go, let's go look at the socks. Okay, you want some socks? Yeah. Do you know that there are people who don't have any socks and they, they're walking around because maybe they lost their mind, they're not well, they're homeless, maybe they lost their job and they need some socks. And then you buy some extra socks as you're taking care of your children, teach them. We should sacrifice instead of buying you two, why don't I buy you one and buy one for a homeless child or for a homeless family. And if I'm going to buy you a jacket, do you mind if I buy one jacket for a child that doesn't have one? And the kids used to say, yeah, yeah let's do that, then let's go get a backpack. And then teach your child that, you know this backpack that you think is very cute and very nice, why we don't buy one for a child who doesn't have one? Because school is going to start and they don't have a backpack. And you teach your family how to sacrifice, you know, they don't necessarily have to go out and, and buy everything all the time and you teach them that maybe we can put a portion of this for other people and for other things that we have to do. And you live a life by example and you hope that when they grow up they remember those examples. But you know life may fool them and take them you know on a course. But because we do da'wah all our lives we've seen that people come back after 30, 40 years and say, you know Shaykh I went through every crazy thing 
But I remember with my grandfather, I used to do this, I used to go for zikr. I remember that my grandfather used to give his shoes from his feet to poor people when he would see them. And that just changed my heart. One day I woke up and I realized I have to, you know, change my life. So we live a life by example, go out and take your kids. We, we have a sock drive in Los Angeles, we have Asim is going to be putting together bags and care bags. To, to give to homeless in Vancouver, we have homeless programs and wherever you are in this world you can support financially or take your children to a store and buy some supplies and buy some supplies for homeless people and then take it to a charity and to a relief organization so that they actually see the good work and see how you know if you're hungry maybe we should get food for somebody else because you know hunger doesn't feel very good. And that was the importance of teaching your children to fast. So when they're fasting you should probably go buy food with them to give to homeless people. So we used to drive with our kids in the car and when they were fasting and training on how to fast, go buy a hamburger at a, a food place and then give it to homeless people and see how hunger doesn't feel good. Yeah, they're hungry all the time, inshaAllah. <coughs> Assalamu Sayyidi, forgive me for less of adab. How to balance our emotional self because of the death of Imam Hussein? Wa alaykum as The emotional self is then uh, these teachings, is a, it's a heavy, it, it, it's a heavy time. And that's why if your, your heart is too connected to them, you don't want to do this all the time and you don't want to remember a state of death at all times and it become a very, very heavy life of, of, of grief and sadness. So it's very balanced just a few days towards the end to connect our heart and to think about the, the actual death, the, 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 the difficulty of, of how they inflicted horrible uh, difficulty upon this holy family. And then remember from this teaching that it's not about, you know, punishing people and cursing people and these people were bad but the message, the higher message of a great saint that knows his destiny and he's stepping into the greatest of saints, he's stepping into his destiny and teaching that face your faith and that Allah's with you and uh, reach always for the highest reality. <coughs> Uh, if the shaykh can open, share any secrets of the name Hussein, Jazakallah. Mubarak to shaykh, Shaykh Abdullah Faizid Dagestani Rouhani is present, inshaAllah, in your gathering today. Amen. Allah bless you and uh, address everybody from the, these realities. And we have an article, if some one of our guys can get it and post it on a link, that it's the secret of the Bahr al-Hayat and the whole article goes into the reality of Hassan and Hussein. For dunya hasanat wa akhirat hasanat wa kina adab nar is that hasanat that we pray that Allah mentions them in Holy Qur'an that both names are Hassan, Hussein means small Hassan and that Qurat al-Ain that is also the, the beloved eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad we have in a salawat ya Qurat al-Ayni, Jadda al-Hassani wal Husayni. that this reality of insana kamil in the book that we have for insana kamil is everything about Sayyidina Muhammad is an immense haqqaiq. And that salawat from awliyaullah is teaching that in the reality of Prophet Wasallam's light Imam al Hassan wal Imam al Hussein are the secrets of his two eyes and what they stand for of realities of Imam al Hassan has to do with the Nur al Rahman, Ya Rahman, Bahaq al Imam al Hassan. And that's a Nur that comes from the right eye. And when we say Ya Rahim, Rahim because it has a Hai, has a Ya. That same ya is in Hussein because he's from the Bahr al Hayat and secret of yaqeen because Sayyid al Shuhada means that the way in which he died, Allah made him to be the master of those who witness, witness realities and the 
ulum and the knowledges, so means they represent their two souls of Imam al Hasan al Salam and Imam Hussain al Salam. Their souls and the light of their souls represent the, the light and the eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad in the ocean of souls. There's something that can't be understood and imagined. That from Sifat al Rahman dresses the soul of Imam al Hussain, Imam al Hasan salam, and everything that coming into existence in the mulk is under that light and under that reality. And from Malakut and everything coming from Sifat al Rahim is then dressing the light of Imam al Hussain salam, and has to do with Bahr al Hayat and the oceans of eternity and life. And that's why the one whom sacrifices himself Allah will dress him from oceans of eternity. And sacrifice yourself is not to blow yourself up but sacrifice bad character. Every time someone harms you, yeah everybody has a tongue that can hit back with a really bad word and give it to somebody. But when you sacrifice yourself you say, mm, let that person say what they want, let them spread what rumours they want, let them to do whatever crazy thing they want to do and I stay quiet, Allah's my defender, Allah's the one who will avenge me, Allah's the one who would disclose and to, to put everything that needs to be put. So then they sacrifice what Allah gave them as a right to go and, and take an eye for an eye, a hand for a hand. But when you sacrifice you say, no I don't want. I want to turn all my affairs over to Allah So this Bahr al-Hayat then begin to dress and that reality of Imam al-Husayn salam is then to be dressed from that reality. That Imam al-Hasan comes and dresses you with a nur and sifat al-Rahman to perfect your light. Imam al-Husayn comes to dress you from oceans of al-Hayat of eternity and that the malakut is kulli shay, the malakut and Sifat al-Rahim is what controls and opens the reality of, of Rahman. So many, many different realities, we have that in the article, if they post that article then the people can read. And that has to do with Insana Kamil, that everything is, is in the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah why Allah made eyes? It's everything, I created creation in my image, that image is the Muhammadan image, why Allah made eyes? There must be immense reality from the real eyes and that we are just a mere reflection like a little toy. What Allah created from the breath and what's the secret of the breath, why you have a nose? We said before people don't know why they have a nose. What's that power of the breath, why Allah wants us to breathe, why He could have, he could have made your ears to breathe. Just just you think, huh? just you think, what if you had to eat, you breathe from your ears? Wassalamu <laughs> <laughs> mm. alaikum Sayyidi, some, country, some countries call the 11th of Muharram Zamzam Day. Can you please explain that the jelly of this day? The, I don't know, 11th of Muharram, uh, I know that the 11th is big with the the Qadri and Shaykh Abdul Qadir salam. and this has to do with the mirror and the reality of mirror, mirroring but we know that the, the Ashura itself has to do with the Kawthar, these are the Kawthari people and that was the example that they weren't giving water and that was an immense secret. These 10 days of Ashura they weren't giving water and granting access to mai, to water to Imam al Hussein al salam When they decided to battle him they decided also not to give him access to water alayhi salam which is ho horrific because you have to even give water to your qurban, anything you're going to slaughter you have to even give water to it. So they were going outside even to inflict the harm and, and, and suffering. And these are the Kawthar realities, Imam Hussain before he passed away he was confronting his, his enemies and said that this whole time you made us suffer from water but I want to make sure you know that it's not in your hands and he kicked the ground and then the Zamzam water was coming up. 
And he said that well, water is under our control and not this dunya water, water from the Kawthar. And on Day of Judgment you're going to be taking from my family the Kawthar as a water to drink and to intercede. What you did to us of cutting us off from water, it was not you. What he was trying to point out is, don't think you had any power to stop me from drinking. If I wanted to drink, I would kick the, gir the dirt and all the, the oceans would come up. And that he wanted to show the power of, of, of their faith that we have, we have immense power. But what I'm showing you is that we were sabr with Allah So he, he was important in our understanding. It's not the character in the play that's important, it's what Allah has written for them. When they write that they're not going to get access to water, they're actually patient with Allah because Allah gave them the ability they could have miraculously hit the ground and water would have come up for them. But to be patient with what Allah has written for you that if these people are not granting you water and you're trying to struggle and fight to get the water and it's still not coming, don't use miraculous power to make it appear. And that's what he showed them in the battlefield, oh we can bring water and you're going to regret what you did because you're going to be taking zamzam from me on the day of judgment. So this is, has immense reality of the kawthar and that these are the springs of the kawthar and that's why we are coming with these good intentions, crying for them, remembering them, bring food for them, give food to the needy for the sake of their name, for the sake of the name of Imam al Salam. That please Ya Rabbi we're giving food, we're giving what we can of your sustenance you gave to us, we're distributing. We have a distribution at the orphanage, we have distribution in LA, we have a distribution in Vancouver, wherever we are we're trying to distribute in their name so that Allah dress us and bless us and grant us our portion of the kawthar. If they, if they were going to give the kawthar to the people who did awful things against them because of the greatness and the beautific nature of their soul. Imagine what they're going to give to the people who love them. So you Just you think. <laughs> many people are asking for du'as on, on this day of Allah bless you. And uh, also a wasteless message asking if you can pray for my father-in-law Asif Jamil who passed away recently in your prayer. Amen. Amen. I mean Allah raise his soul and, and Hajj Omar his son is in the zikr and, and, and giving away the food. He runs all the food program in Vancouver so alhamdulillah and uh, we see his father in the zikr all the time. And those are the questions Sayyidi. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> People are just asking what to do on this day, any, any other thing? It's on the app, it's on yeah. the app. Read the awrad, read the salawats. Think of Imam al Hussein as salam, listen to the, the salawats and think of how much you love Sayyidina Muhammad and, and these are birds of paradise, beautific birds and, and if, if they got harmed in this dunya then it gives us patience that if everyone thinks, oh this world is so hard on me and this is so much difficulty on me and maybe Allah forgot about me, astaghfirullah but if, if it was difficult for these blessed souls then it should teach us to be patient, be quiet, don't complain, don't nag, don't whine. Be, be patient with what Allah wants from you. When He loves you things are a little bit difficult. We pray that Allah grant us more and more and that their nazar be upon us and that Imam Hussain Salam's ridha and satisfaction to dress upon us inshaAllah. And that the, the shaykhs of the Naqshbandi order to dress us and bless us from their secrets and from their realities inshaAllah. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basira Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.